Afghan forces have taken charge of the country's security after the NATO troops ended its 13-year mission in the war-torn nation. The change of guard comes amid speculations of the capabilities of the Afghan force to ward off the Taliban. The Afghan National Security Forces officially gained full security charges from the NATO troops in capital Kabul on Thursday. The ceremonial event was attended by President Ashraf Ghani, Chief Executive Abdullah Abdullah and former President Hamid Karzai. President Ghani congratulated the troops on the successful transition. The warm the whole of the the Afghanistan was the Dama Baraki Warkum Tinan, Emuk Milizwa Kuna, Pade Bariali Sividi, to the Afghanistan, the Miliha Kimyat, the Dehaure, the Namus, the Satane, Au de Watan, the Defa Bushper Masuliat, Pelaswahli. Former President Karzai said peace and stability in the country can only be achieved with the cooperation of its neighbor, Pakistan, and the US. The war in Afghanistan is not of the Afghan people. It is not our war. It's a foreign war conducted for foreign interests. And in this war, the main elements are Pakistan and the United States. It isn't our war. Therefore, peace cannot be ours without the cooperation of Pakistan or the United States. After more than 13 years, the United States and NATO officially ended its combat mission in Afghanistan last month. It also marked the start of a two-year mission dubbed Resolute Support. Under the new mission, the ISAF will be replaced by a smaller force of around 18,000 foreign troops that would focus on training Afghan soldiers to battle a resilient Taliban insurgency largely on its own.